they missed your entire DNA. They missed your entire code. They didn't realize that your soul was pure because they were busy just projecting their fears out into the world. And this could have been someone who was close to you or that you held in high regard. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are. Welcome to My Creative Life. I'm Key, and right now, I'm about to deliver to you another universal message. Let's keep in mind that all of these universal messages are timeless and will find you when you best need them. And everything that I do is in nothing but unconditional love, highest light, all harmony to everyone, and no harm to all. Okay, so let's see what the universe wants you to know at this moment. We have, I'm starting off with my archangels actually. So we have Archangel Camwell. Archangel Camwell sees the connection and everything and helps you to find what you're looking for. Archangel Camwell. So if you've been feeling like you're lost or you don't know what direction you want to go in or you've been losing items recently, Archangel Camwell is an amazing archangel to pray with or pray to or add to your mantras or to just meditate on because he will help you, he or she, I don't know if all angels have a gender, but Archangel Camwell is an amazing angel to include in your prayers when you are searching for something, when you want to recover something, or if you just need guidance and direction. We have Archangel Metatron encourages focus, motivation, and organization. So this is giving me signs that you are actually looking to move your life into a certain direction. And it's been feeling like you've been piecing together the direction, but you don't exactly have a goal. And that is totally fine. Maybe this reading will help you to see your goal, to see where you can go, where you can be heading. I am vibrating highly. I am in control of my line of thinking. So there is a deep need here for you to focus, for you to find a center of attention, for you to find a purpose to put your energy and efforts towards. Um, if you've just been feeling like you're all over the place, your life is kind of just scattered about and there is no real guidance and direction, that is about to change for you. You are about to meditate and practice mindset rituals that will help you to feel aligned and to feel like you are going somewhere, okay? I also want to thank North Atlantic for sending me this Cantigi Oracle deck. I really do appreciate you, North Atlantic Publishing. You are absolutely great for sending me this beautiful deck. I've been getting so many good reads with it, and I really do appreciate the gift. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but I'm going to pull a card from the Cantigi Oracle to get some clarification or some confirmations on this situation right now. The universe, is there a specific situation that you're talking about in this person's life? Once again, we have, you don't know where you are, but you are free. So things feel uncertain, but there is a reason why it is feeling uncertain. Um, you are defeating some misguidances that have been given to you in your life. You are now putting yourself and your intuition above guidances that have come from sources that didn't have the best intentions for you, okay? So you're learning that not everyone around you will know how to get you to where you're going. You're learning not to rely on everyone else. You're learning to rely on your soul's purpose, your blueprint from God, so that you can find your direction. Um, for some reason, you might be feeling like you are bound to everyone else's beliefs, everyone else's advice, everyone else's everyone else's directions, and you are not. If you just knew how powerful you are, you would feel liberated every single day. So for you, when you wake up, when you think on it, it is time for you to realize that you are free, okay? You're not bound by these, I want to call them mindset traps. One that is coming up for me personally is the idea that my identity as a woman, as a black woman, holds me back from success. 
that has been programmed into me for as long as I can remember. And it has actually affected me in ways where I just felt like I'm not good enough because of my skin color, because of my gender, because of my situation, because of what happened to my ancestors. All of these things have affected me in ways that I just, I had to get over. I had to take my power back and realize I'm free from those shackles. I'm free from those identifiers. I can be who I dreamt or dreamt of. And this is happening for you as well. Um, no matter how you identify, no matter what the world has told you and placed on you as a limitation, you are free from those limitations. Those bondages do not apply to you anymore, okay? Universe, what is going to happen for this group to know that they are free? A swarm of bees. You're going to have people around you who actually work towards the goal with you. Once you figure out what your goal is, once you set your direction, there will be people around you. There will be signs and synchronicities that will tell you, I am working with you. The universe wants you to know. God wants you to know, I am working with you. I am working for you. I am here for you. I am. You're not along. along. <laughs> you're not alone. I'm here with you. I want to see you do better when you open your eyes to the blessings and miracles that are awaiting you they start to pour in a swarm of bees this will be happening like lightning speed it will be happening fast for you and I'm also getting the message that when you see a swarm of bees initially you may be fearful of it but when you really get to know bees they are a gentle creature so your goals may seem so scary it may seem like it is so much you will have to do you will have to deal with you will have so many people coming at you from many different directions and stinging you again you know touching that sensitive spot within you that made you feel like you were limited and blocked off it's going to be so many people coming at you stinging you harming you that is your initial thought but once you realize wow when i look at into a bee colony they work together they're working towards a single goal they're working to create they're working to serve their purpose. They're connected. The universe wants you to think about a swarm of bees in a new way. It is not dangerous. Your dreams are not dangerous. It is not unsafe for you to be unlimited and realize the full potential of your own spiritual nature. Okay, it is not going to bring harm to you. It is everything will happen for you in a gentle way. Okay, what other confirmations can we bring to this collective? In the land of the vanished. So yes, this is very much proof to me that you've been feeling like you don't have a place in the world. Like maybe there is no purpose. Like something happened where you feel removed from your purpose, where you feel removed from happiness, from trust. So yes, there has been a lot of things that has caused you to have this protective shield over you. And honestly, I'm not going to say that you should lower your protection, but you should realize when, when life is actually being gentle towards you, it is okay to receive gentle nourishment. It is okay to have people working with you. As soon as you step into the state of being that the world is working with you, there are many people who are here to help you, you will see a new collective in your life, okay? You will feel like you belong because you actually do belong. It's like everything is being built before you get there. And when you get there, you'll feel a sense of peace. So that's actually beautiful. I'm getting images of you being on a stage or a platform and feeling at ease rather than anxiety or imposter sy syndrome or any negative emotions. You're like, wow, this is actually what was being built for me and I belong here. I'm being recognized as the person that I am. A lot of you are leaders who are afraid to be leaders because of the negative connotation that comes with being leaders. Maybe people have told you that influencing others is bad. Maybe people thought that you were being manipulative by having influence, but what they didn't realize is in their envy of you being able to deliver a message like you can deliver a message. They missed your entire DNA. They missed your entire code. They didn't realize that your soul was pure because they were busy 
just projecting their fears out into the world. And this could have been someone who was close to you or that you held in high regards. That's, it's, it's like, it's always the people that are closest to you that can kind of misguide you. You have to be aware that your message, your guidance cannot come from everybody around you. Even the people that you love and who do have best intentions for you, they they can have good intentions, but it might not be the exact guidance that you should follow at the moment. And that's totally fine. Everybody has their own soul's purpose. Everyone has their own guidance from God. Everyone is here to help you in a certain way, but you also have to help yourself to the word of God. You have to help yourself to your soul's purpose, what the universe has in store to you. Staying in alignment with your true divinity, that will help you out a lot. So if you get an urge that says, no, this isn't the right time, Listen to those urges, become one with those urges because that is your internal compass. That is your inner guidance. That is your inner message. You can always access that. We have belief here. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. I mean, I'm just saying like <laughs> that intuition that you get that tells you, no, don't go here. Go the opposite direction. Do this instead. Trust that. That is the connection to the divine. And we have confirmation here with the belief card. Okay? Believing in yourself and placing yourself in states of being where you have high self-value, high self-worth, will only result in goodness. Okay? No longer will you give into chaos. You, I'm just, I'm getting this image of you like rolling your eyes like, oh my God, like I'm so beyond this i'm so i'm just done with this this is not what i want to manifest in my life this is not what i want to bring forth in the world i don't want to keep talking about drama i don't want to keep gossiping i don't want to keep recognizing people as pitiful people i don't want to keep speaking as if everyone's victims i actually want to empower people i actually want to enlighten people i actually want to uplift others and i have no fiber of my being that wants to see harm to anyone you might not want to see harm to anyone justice is another thing um that i don't know why that's coming up but it's coming up justice is different from wanting revenge so a lot of you are realizing the difference between revenge and justice okay so that's a message for someone maybe you you're about to receive some form of justice for wrongdoings or events that have happened to you and that have affected you. Synergy. We have synergy here. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. Being drawn back to a swarm of bees, you're about to see that everything is here to co-create with you. Everything is here to live and be in harmony, okay? Everything is all that there is. <laughs> you are everything. When you step into, I just this is just going to be... It feels like a splitting of realities, one that changes your idea of like, oh, pain, torture, trauma. It's almost like giving up an addiction to sadism, to masochism, to everything has to be hard. You're giving that up and you're moving towards a new collective way of thinking that is more synergistic, more synchronous of what you envision the world being like bringing heaven on earth okay that's what we're about we're about bringing heaven on earth bringing calm bringing peace bringing balance communication being drawn right back to a swarm of bees okay a swarm of bees here there, you're going to be working with a lot more people who actually attuned to the same vibration that you have everyone's recognizing that their gifts are different Yet, you have to have different pieces of the puzzle to make one image. There is a reason that you are different. There is a reason why you are a leader. There is a reason why you can speak the way that you speak. There is a reason why you hold the position that you hold. 
And everyone respects that as they have their own purposes as well. And it all works in tandem. It all works together. So communication, the frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart. Being drawn back to synergy as well. Through our heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balance exchange. So speaking from a place of love will always, always bring forth good results. Speaking from a place of care and consideration, compassion, a place of knowing, a place of wisdom, a place of relief will, that will actually attract more relief, attract more compassion, attract more love into your life. And it will become a norm for you. You're going to feel comfortable in this world. You're going to feel comfortable in your skin. Okay? You belong in this world. Your body and your mind is not a prison for your soul. Your body is a vessel for your soul to express itself through. You are not limited. You are not trapped. You are not imprisoned. You are free. You don't know where you are, but you are free. Some of us may need to do some energy healing. We need to go through our root causes and feel where we feel it in our bodies so that we can release that tension, release that illness that we are holding on to. Um, so therapy will be very good for some people. Um, workshops, life coaching. You're going to see a new version of you that doesn't have these pains and pangs associated with this psychology behind the root causes of things okay so coming into a better space psychologically is very important to you I almost pulled from my other deck shop is best friend deck and i am not trying to pull from that right now <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull another card from isis oracle deck here we have life restored as i've spoken you're going to feel a physical relief from these mental pains that you've Held on to. You're going to receive a new, I want to say new, but I also want to say a renewed, rejuvenated version of your life. You are going to feel the shift in your energy field. You're going to actually embody your Merkaba. You are going to understand your toroidal field. You are getting into the higher levels of consciousness and you are able to exude happiness, peace, healing in your being, in your presence, and it's going to help with healing others, okay? There's nothing wrong with having spiritual protection. There's nothing wrong with having spiritual protection, but you have a gentle form of protection. This comes with being more diplomatic. So you're going to see that situations and conflicts that could have ended badly will actually start to end in the most peaceful resolutions, okay? Okay. So life restored. Let's pull out another card here. We have divine sisterhood. As I've said before, you will have people, not only sisterhoods, but brotherhood, community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. So some of you may be joining church groups. You may be joining groups that actually support your being. And this is amazing because you need a community in order to feel like you belong. Even you can't run away from a community. You're always going to see that there is someone out there just like you. And you should accept that with open arms, with compassion, with love, and be blissful at the fact that we have other beings, other physical beings that can help us to expand our souls and come into love with ourselves as well. So even if you're a lone wolf, you're never really alone because the spirit will find you and move you towards people that will help you. It is really a beautiful thing, this life that we have here. Okay, divine sisterhood. So you will be finding, yes, you will be making a name for yourself in these communities. You will be recognized as prophetess. You will be recognized as goddess incarnate, God incarnate. Um, take that as you will. Um, you will be recognized for the creative nature that you have as the artist that you are, as the leader, the pioneers, the respectable being that you are in these groups in these communities okay you are giving inspiration to the collective and this is this is absolutely amazing for you so cartouche divine names of power you people will be giving you labels 
And now these labels are labels of honor. They are names of power. Okay. They are helpful to you and they are encouraging you and instilling confidence within you. So expect to be hyped up by a lot of people. People are supporting you. You have fans, friends, people who study your legacy because they're just so happy to see a person like you in their life. Okay. So we have the Empress. Once again, we're talking about the divine creative nature that you have here. A great name, a great descriptor of who you are. You are the empress. You are one with the world. You are giving birth to ideas that are powerful. The moon, yes, you are shifting. You are shifting people's perspectives, people's emotions. You are influential. You are guided. You are in tune. Okay? You're using your words, Knight of Swords here. You're making things happen fast. You have a divine message that this world needs to hear. You have a divine power that this world needs. As a healer, as a healer, you realize that your words changes realities in split seconds. Okay? Okay. It may be important for you to pray for other people, to pray for people in your community. If you are someone who wishes to see prosperity in this world, someone who wishes to see peace in this world, pray for people. And when I say pray, I mean praying scientifically, okay? You want to hold the energy within yourself of, wow, I'm so happy to witness this person being healed, being loved. You keep doing that and you hold that image of that person in your head. Like when they say your body is a temple, your body is your church. It really is. So if you feel anything wrong within it, if there's a idea that could be attached to that bodily feeling. You can also hold senses of calmness while holding, using your imagination, like being at peace within your gut. <laughs> it's all connected, but you want to be taking care of your gut health so that you can actually experience peace. Your body's not fighting to survive. Your body's at peace. It's at the perfect state of homeostasis or at least close to perfect state of homeostasis. You are not inflamed. Um, so taking turmeric or natural herbs that can reduce inflammation in your body and reduce irritation in your body so that you can actually experience peace within your bodily functions will actually enhance your imagination, which enhances your visualization, which enhances your prayers. So it all works together. You need to take care of your temple, okay? Your body is your temple first. That's the first thing you take care of in this life. And then you send prayers to others and then you do energy work. Then you visualize, then you manifest goodness for other people, okay? I have more than enough. So some of you are already pros at taking care of yourself, and now it's time to pray visions of prosperity and wealth over other people as well, okay? Pray prayers of healing. Pray prayers of emotional healing for other people. You have more than enough energy to do this. So kudos to you for taking care of yourself to the point where you are abundant enough to do that. And I'm going to finish up here with a few more pulls. We have everything happens harmoniously. So you are in a state of harmony now. And everything that you do actually works in harmony. Everything that you pray for actually happens harmoniously. And that's... It's fantastic. I just feel this tranquil energy right now, this serenity. I love this read. I can be in this energy all day. <laughs> okay, we have, I love that I can create abundance in my life. So you have a sense of knowing now. You trust your powers. You trust your abilities to create abundance in your life. That's freaking amazing. Amazing. The deal is yours. You know that you can have whatever you would like to have. You know that when you speak things into existence, it happens. You completely bypass resistance, energetic tension, and you just live in peace. 
I am the prize. You recognize your self-worth. You recognize your self-worth. You are the prize. You know that by thinking of yourself as a prize, you take care of yourself. And then that way, when you take care of yourself, you can take care of others. You fill your cup and you can fill so many other people's cup because your self-worth, your self-love has overflown to the point where you can attract hundreds and thousands and millions of people if you're up to it. <laughs> So raising the consciousness, doing your light work, you are winning, okay? When you're raising the consciousness and you're doing your light work, you are winning. Totally, it's a yes. Everything that you set is successful. Everything that you pray for is successful. And with that being said, check out any of my short form videos on TikTok, Instagram, and shorts here on youtube and if you are interested in any other timeless messages you can check out my other youtube videos where i go into detail about the current download and you can receive your message that way turn on those post notifications subscribe like and comment and let me know how this video is resonating with you with that being said stay happy stay healthy peace out